Would you like to learn how to make smoked cocktails just in time for fall? Well, today on WTF, we're going to show you how to use the Breville PolyScience Smoking Gun to make an amazing, warm, smoked apple cider cocktail. Hello and welcome to WTF, where we transform food here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Scott Guerin. And I'm Janie Wang, one of the owners of Modernist Pantry. Here on WTF every week, we talk about unique ingredients and techniques and show you recipes that you can do in your kitchen. So remember to subscribe and ring the bell and you'll get notified of our episodes when they come out. This week, we're going to be showing you how to make a smoked cider cocktail using the Breville PolyScience Smoking Gun. It's a really fun tool and we, you know, we really enjoy playing with it here in the kitchen and we've uh, done other episodes on them before, but today we wanted to go into fall with a new cocktail recipe. Um, so Scott, for people who have never encountered a smoking gun, can you talk a little bit about what it is and what makes this such um, an awesome, fun toy? Yeah, so it's really cool because you can add on-demand smoke to pretty much anything you're making. Uh, now you're probably not going to use this to smoke a brisket. Uh, I doubt you would ever use it to smoke a brisket, but you can mm -hmm. add smoke to things that you normally wouldn't be able to add smoke to, cocktails mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. small bites of food and things like that. Yeah, and we really enjoyed smoking particular cocktails and other types of liquids. And uh, I think that's kind of fun because it's unexpected. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the technique behind how do you incorporate smoke into a liquid? Sure, so uh, there's a few different ways. The way we're gonna be doing it today, we'll be adding it to the almost the whole glass of a finished cocktail. But one of the liquids in this cocktail has smoke already in it because mm -hmm. we uh, we were able to smoke it while it was in a pan so what we did is we took uh, plastic wrap we put it over the pan we smoked that sealed it and then allowed it to simmer right. and then some of the uh, the water vapor goes up and mixes with that smoke and once it all settles after it's boiled and been cooled then you have a very smoky liquid other ways we can do it uh, we've done it before when we mm -hmm. put it into a blender uh, so there's a number of different ways that you can get this smoke into liquids and foods yeah if you want to see that in action or learn about more about the smoking gun in general we are going to link at the end of this at the end of this episode to our smoking gun episode, which we did a little while back. All right, so what cocktail are we doing today? So we're actually gonna do a smoked cider cocktail with it coming up to be fall. We wanted to try something a little bit different. We were talking about a cider cocktail. We were talking about the smoking gun. So mm -hmm. why not kind of meld those two ideas? Mm -hmm. And we've made a really delicious smoked cocktail. It's a warm cider cocktail, uh, but it's better than like a mulled cider because okay. there's some really nice alcohol in here that uh, bring it up to the next level and mm -hmm. then obviously you smoke it all. So I think we can kind of get into it now. The first thing that we're going to be adding is cognac. Mm -hmm. So about an ounce and a half of cognac. And then Calvados, which is an apple uh, liquor. Mm -hmm. So about one ounce of that. Then we have some sweet vermouth. You can notice it's a it's a relatively strong cocktail, so mm -hmm. maybe one of these will warm you up on a mm -hmm. on a fall night. About half an ounce of grade A maple syrup. We went with grade A. Uh, grade B has a bit too much maple flavor. Grade A is really okay. nice for the kind of that almost vanilla -y mm -hmm. maple flavor, and then a quarter of an ounce of uh, bourbon. Mm -hmm. So we want just a little bit of bourbon. We don't want to make it too strong there. So I'm just going to mix those up. Now, one special ingredient that we're going to add before we add the cider is actually an aromatic elixir. This is spice trade, so it's got some vanilla, some cocoa, and some cinnamon. So all kind of like the flavors that go really well with cider and kind of the season. Mm -hmm. Yep, right? and that's from Alice and the Magician. And actually, spoiler alert, they're going to be here in a few weeks to... Uh, work on some fun stuff too. Yeah. So if you're like, I've never heard of an aromatic elixir, they're awesome, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, and mm -hmm. what it does is it just brings the aroma right out. So, you know, the apple's gonna come from the apple cider and the uh, Calvados, but then we have all these other um, aromas that are come right out once we heat it, especially mm -hmm. when it's a little warm too, those uh, flavor's gonna come out really, really nicely. Then we have some of our smoked apple cider that we have here, and we just warmed it up in a pan. So we don't want it to be like boiling because we don't want all the, you know, the alcohol to come right off of this when you smell mm -hmm. it. You want to smell all the, uh, the nice aromas. So I'm just going to add in the apple cider here. Yeah. 
And one thing I noticed when we were in the testing phase of this recipe is that when you serve it hot versus when you serve it cold, actually the smoke has um, like a really different feel to it. Yeah, it really does. Mm -hmm. And um, if I do serve this cold, I always add a little bit more of the apple cider so you get more of that smoke. Mm -hmm. uh, when it's warm, you get a lot more of that smoke just naturally. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pour this into our glass here. Perfect. I'm going to garnish it with a charred cinnamon stick. You can just take a torch to it. This mm -hmm. has a really great aroma, right? So we get yeah. the cinnamon from the, yeah. the aromatic elixir. Mm -hmm. Then we get a different aroma off of this as well. And you can use this as a stir. Yeah, and I can smell that cocktail standing right here. <laughs> so the, uh, the, arom the aromatic elixir is really doing its work. Now, one thing mm -hmm. when you are going to be smoking that mm -hmm. cinnamon stick, don't burn it till it turns like white and chalky, right? Okay. And that, that's not what you want. You want to just char the outside and it'll give it a nice roasty kind of mm -hmm. aroma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light uh, this lighter here, put the lighter in, and then I'm going to turn on the, uh, the fan. Mm -hmm. So. If I were to do that, it won't allow this to light. So I just make sure that I'm lighting it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I start to put it in where the, uh, the apple wood is. Mm -hmm. And then I pull in and you can see immediately it starts to smoke. Ooh. So if we can let that sit, just yeah. pull it up. And we chose obviously apple wood because we're doing an apple cider, but it does come with three other different types of smoky, Woods. <laughs> wood chips. That yeah, you can wood smoke chips. With, right? Exactly. But you can certainly, if you have any that you prefer that doesn't come with the kit, you can still you can still try them out, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you only want this to go for about ten seconds. It's really great for presentation. So once yes. all that smoke mm -hmm. dissipates around here, right, then we're able to just lift it off, and we have a beautiful cocktail that's holding on to the smoke, mm -hmm. right? That great presentation, presentation never gets old. No, it looks no. great, beautiful. Yeah. Janie, uh, I mean, I know we have to do the giveaway, but do you want to have a sip first, or do you yeah. want to do the giveaway now? Do you want to do the giveaway? <laughs> do the giveaway? Do well, I do you want to like switch is, it up? So. We're giving oh. this away. We're giving this away. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, we're apparently, we're going to be giving away the Breville PolyScience yes. smoking gun. This mm -hmm. is the version two. This is the best version. Super easy to clean. Super easy to use. Mm. And you can make an amazing Good. cocktail like this. Yeah, so or I a number of other things. Yeah. In the comments below, what cocktail do you think would be the best to smoke? Yes, that's a good one. Other than this one, of course. See, Scott can do all the giveaways from now on. He's a pro. <laughs> all right, so this is delicious. Um, I'm probably going to drink a little bit more of this off camera. But it's super tasty, and I love how easy it is for you to do at home, at your bar, you know, yeah. hanging out with your friends. It never gets old. And the presentation just mm -hmm. takes it over the top. Exactly. So have fun with it. You know, leave, the com leave in the comments, watch the episode about the smoking gun, and we'll put up one of our other cocktail episodes as well, so you can kind of check out some of the other options that we have. So until next week, from here to Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie Wang. And I'm Scott Garrett.